What's good, everybody? You are watching Phil. Andy. Travel, Travel spree. spree. Look, look. We know we've been out of commission for a little bit, but it's summertime. Today is June 16th, and we're getting ready to head to Galveston, Texas, because we going on the ship. Hey, we going to the ship. Uh, we going to the ship. Hey, this is a jam-packed summer. I'm not going to tell you everything we got going on, but just know we got plenty of stuff lined up for the summer. Um, we actually going on the Carnival Breeze this morning, a quick four day sailing out of Galveston, Texas. Um, come along for the trip. It's going to be a good ride. Attention. I'll, I'll show you how to wear it. And then you will put over your head like this and then engage the bagu one and the second way. Like this and then the third one. This will come between your legs and then pull it up and then engage the bagu again. And that's it. Now you're free to go. <laughs> Enjoy your food, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. So if we're ever in trouble, come to the casino. Yes. <laughs> 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 All right. That's all I really wanted on this cruise was a guy's burger. If you know, you know. I can't even remember what type of burger this is. What, what did I get? Big patty. Big patty, pig patty. I don't know. It's a patty in the bun from guy's burger. Like, first stop on the cruise. This stop nowhere else. Had to go here. If, if it's not running down your arms, I'm sure it will be in a little bit. That's how you know it's busting. It's busting right. Look, mine gone. Look, it's gone. Like. I didn't eat breakfast this morning, so 
I was hungry, but it's still God's burger. It's always good. Like, you cannot go wrong. I'm telling you. I'm going to eat about 10 of them. I'm calling it right now. At least 10 of them on the ship. All right, guys. Look, we just ate. See, D is on the floor. Hi, guys. But it is hot. <laughs> it is so hot outside right now. Like, if you ever cruise into June, you know. But they are really strict with the uh, the stateroom times, One thirty. It's about 12.50 right now. But we just chilling out, maxing, relaxing, all cool. Definitely not shooting no b-ball later. But let me introduce you to the rest of the fam. But this is Carlos right here. This is my cousin. He came all the way from Louisiana. Who? Uh huh. And oh, I ain't finished. I want the hoop. You know why? Cause we in our thirties now, and we need to be exercising. I'm done. I don't know if I can hoop like I used to. Thirty, thirty ain't sixteen, seventeen, look, and eighteen look, no more. Look, Cause I ain't hooped in four years. But I tell you what, I'm gonna sweat. <laughs> She, she swears she's still 27. So if you so if you saw the last vlog when we went to Disney, she swears she was 27. But which so you gonna be 28 next year? Uh, yeah, that's how it works. Okay. So I get 29. Start over again. Start over again. Okay. Oh Jesus, my right. last one came off. Look, her last one came off. Uh. -uh. <laughs> <laughs> It's Carlos' white, beautiful Honey, wife, Tamiga. We have to put the shades on. <laughs> <laughs> got to keep the lashes. Keep the lash together. We got see. We got to get back in the room to get that that glue so, right. The glue so ain't acting right. Yeah, because if it falls, you know, see, it catch that little rim. Everybody need their own personal Ain't gonna plan. see me. You ain't gonna catch me slipping. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we. <laughs> yeah, we bored, man. We just just hanging out. Yeah. Wait till the room come open. We just we just in here trying to cool off. That's all. So looking for stuff to do. We can't even connect to the ship Wi-Fi. Like uh, even the free Wi-Fi. No, uh, D paid for hers, but the Wi-Fi not even ready. The room's not ready. Um, so we'll keep you guys posted on the adventure, man. So look, look. It ain't one thirty yet. It's about one o two. Well, we we're going the wrong way. But anyway, the rooms ain't ready. It's 102. So we just said, forget it. It's, it's too hot outside. So we're on our way to the room. Sorry, Carnival. But it's hot. I think we done started something. Because <laughs> everybody else following us. Hey. He must be mad at us. He didn't speak. All right. We here. Luggage is here. The keys are not, but that's all right. Oh, home sweet home for the next four days. Oh, it's a little warm. You you feel warm? It's cooler than outside, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, but hopefully they let us stay. Hopefully they don't kick us out, but we're going to kick it here for a while. Hey, while we in here, I mean, I guess we can do the room tour. I mean, do y'all like cabin tours? I, I don't know. Me? It's the same thing every time. Let me know down in the comment section, you know, if you like room tours or not. Uh, but as soon as you enter, this is the bathroom right here. Got the shower curtain. Uh, you got enough space for one. So if you're into showering with your roommate or spouse, whoever it is, it's gonna be none of that. None of that here. You know, I mean, pretty standard cabinet space. Not cabinet space, but storage areas. I mean, that's it. it ain't much. We got closet one here. Closet two there. Look like you got an extra uh, comfort down there. Storage space. You know, a little vanity or a mirror, whatever you want to call it. Come with a pull-out bench. Little TV carnival. Y'all got to step your game up. I got to I gotta wear a magnifying glass on my eyes to see that. Uh, since we are red, we should actually have two bottles. I'm not sure why we only got one, but it should be two bottles. I have to talk to them about that. Now your mat for you to put your luggage and unpacking things like that. 
there's a door here uh, if you're coming with another party or something like that these uh, these do connect to the next room uh, Carlos to are actually down the hall we didn't book together but they're actually a little bit a couple doors down and we got the balcony area standard two chairs tables and look at this if you think if you look at it we're real close to the water this is actually what's called a cold balcony because we're on deck two so this is the closest balcony to water um, really can't beat these I mean close to the water great view you know you've got a little bit of privacy out here and I mean this is what it's all about if you're gonna go cruising get the balcony especially if you're on anniversary trips or significant other or something like that um, this is actually our anniversary trip so we are celebrating and hence why we got the balcony um, but definitely come out here chill relax at night just listen to the sound of the waves it, it, it don't get much better than that unless you got a sweet but see me we ain't got no sweet money uh this is the best we gonna do all right coming back in you got a little nightstand there nightstand there and the yeah a little table we brought some uno dominoes you know it might go down later um we do have your fridge here hopefully i'll open it on the right side might have to put this on a blooper reel there it is <laughs> <laughs> you know i mean if you bring a 12 pack you, you might just fill it up or if you want to keep your wine cool there um and this area should be the safe you know keep all your important documents jewelry whatever it is um you know there Got your telephone there. So I made another discovery. There's a, actually a third closet here. And it's got the life jackets. I guess that's kind of important, you know. I couldn't see it because when the door was open, it was like that. So we missed it. We missed that closet. But safety first. All right. Our room steward, Yuli, he just brought these over. And if he bought the internet package... Let me see if it'll focus. It'll ask your portfolio number. That's your portfolio number there. I'm not sure if the camera's going to act right. But there it is. Then it's got your, you know, VIFP number, you know, your muster station, all that, dinner time, uh, things like that. So very important information there. And you're going to use this this set sale pass. You know, it's, it's pretty much your credit card on board. You know, if you ever want to buy anything or, you know, drinks or specialty diner whatever it is uh, that'll be pretty much your pass to get anything you need on board so uh, got a lot more planned for you this is just the beginning we ain't even got started yet so stay alone for the ride <laughs> all right y'all so i'm actually about to try something a little different something i've never done before um, usually when we go on vacation, me and D, you know, kind of live out our suitcases, you know, so whenever the next day comes you or unpacking? whenever the next day comes, you know, we usually just, you know, go to the suitcase, find the outfit, you know, put it to the side or in a dirty clothes bag, bag or whatever. But I'm, I'm going to try it one time just to see if it makes a difference. You know, I mean, they got closets and drawers and but we never put them to use so this is an experiment to see is it easier to live out your suitcase on vacation or is it easier to unpack load the drawers and the closet and once you finish wearing the clothes to put it back in the suitcase so what you gonna do you gonna try i ain't trying it that's too much work i'm gonna try it at the end of the cruise I guess, and we going to tell you which one is better, my way or his newfound way that he's trying to do. Well, according to her, she never wrong anyways. So I'm going to give you my honest opinion on how it is. If it's easier for me, this might be something I might keep doing. Maybe not. I don't know. Um, but we'll let you guys know towards the end of the trip.
once again, if you have not yet checked in, we really need you to do so at this time. Remember, we can't begin the fun without it. So if you got a friend that haven't done so yet, go ahead and apply that pressure, all right? Make sure that they head on over so we can start this fun. Thank you so much for your cooperation. It's about to go down, getting ready to sell away. Getting ready to sell away. We're about to party like it's 1999. <laughs> Came back from the celebrate party. Did I tell y'all it was hot? God, dog. What was it? Hot. <laughs> Jeez. But um, you know we had a good time. We drank, you know, some soda on our bubbles package, and we were out there dancing. And well, I got out dancing. But uh, but this is me. She say I'm the life of the party, but. It just seems like the party just follows me everywhere I go for some reason. Because you're the life of it, right? <laughs> but we came back in the room. You know, things kind of settling down now. You know, we're going to enjoy the benefits of this balcony. You know, that's what we got. It. So we're gonna, we moving. Um, I didn't even know we started moving until... Because you was dancing. <laughs> I didn't realize that... <laughs> I didn't realize that we started moving until after I came back off of the Lido. Uh, you know, to check on her, see, make sure she was all right. Um, but she did get a couple of clips on me. If y'all following on Instagram, uh, you'll definitely be able to follow us live and keep up with us um, in real time. Um, what's the Instagram? Follow us on Phil and D Travel. Hey, y'all. We're about to go and try to find something to get into. Um, we saw that there's some trivia kind of going on, so we're gonna see what that's about. Some music trivia, so we're gonna see if we know our stuff or not, which we probably don't, but that's okay. 
So hopefully it's fun. So yeah, he took a really, really good nap on the nah, um, balcony out there. Nah, don't do that. Don't there. do that. Don't do that. You asleep. I, I was working I the looked Instagram. Over, I looked over at you and you asleep. I was working the Instagram. And he took a nap. And I was going to go charge my phone, but I was like, I might as well close my eyes since he sleep. You know, why not? So he must have looked at me when I was like, I might as well close my eyes. So. Whatever. Anyway, she got busted. But uh, I think the <laughs> trivia is supposed to be like some kind of music trivia or something like that. So we're going to go test our knowledge and see how it go. <laughs> so we went on to round number two. Now this is the round where we're going to sing, we're going to shout, we're going to dance. Hey, come on, Tony. Not that pony, Tony. Right there, pony, Tony. I'm, I'm just a dancer. dancer. Looking for a partner. Give me that for Tony. What's the next song? In the club. Go, hey. go, 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 shawty. It's, it's your birthday. birthday. We, we gonna party party like it's, it's your birthday. birthday. We oh. Come on. Oh, oh come on. Woo! Let's get it on. Yeah. Staying alive. Staying alive. Yeah. 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 And, uh, trivia. It was actually pretty fun. Um, we knew most of the songs, but not all of them. We were actually late, so we were late on getting the pencil and the pad, but you know, other than that, I mean, it was fun just kicking it and listening to music. Um, right now, I'm getting a little hungry, but we don't have dinner until 8.15 right now. It's about 7.30. Right now it's about 7.30, so I'm sorry, I don't know if y'all heard all that in the back, but about 7.30, I think we're going to get another guy's burger or something like that. I tell you, I'm about, I'm going to eat about 10 of them, but... We're going to count. Yeah, we're going to keep a running count, so just just pay attention. But uh, this, right now, this will be number two. Maybe get a third one later on, like a little late snack. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, she's a pizza girl, but I mean, you don't... You gotta, you gotta get a guy's burger, I like all coffee. I did. Like, well, we have, we dine at eight fifteen, so I'll be eating and then I want pizza. You want pizza? You get pizza. Hey, we just walking. I didn't even realize that this is big and anchor. Like, this is the, the barbecue joint. And I was like, we passed it up, and I was, it just hit your nostrils. And I was like, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, wait a minute, because anybody 
everybody that know me, if you know me personally, you know I'm the barbecue pit master. I'm the barbecue pit master of the family. Tell them. That's facts. Facts. So, I mean, this is what I do. So, uh, tomorrow we're definitely coming back here. I think it's free during lunch uh, on sea days. So, tomorrow will be actually official first sea day. So, you better believe we're coming back to get some pig and anchor. And I will critique it to see if it meets my standards. <laughs> We didn't sink it. So since the whole guy's burger thing didn't work out, I got pizza. So y'all, like, I'm legit disappointed. Other than the fact that, you know, I couldn't get a guy's burger. But that pizza was so trash. It was so trash, like, what? Come on, Carnival. I'm back at the room. We're supposed to eat dinner at 8.15, it's 8.12. I can guarantee you my wife is still in here. I was supposed to meet him up there. Watch this. Be money. Not in there. Did she run out to the balcony? Hmm. Guess I should have a little bit more faith in my wife. Found him. Did y'all did y'all get lost coming here? No, but I saw you walk down. I thought you was going. Why you ain't say nothing? Cause I thought you could come this way. I thought they told you where it was. Yeah. I'm sorry. You could have waved me down, sent me a smoke signal. Sorry, I thought you had gotten out of the chat. I'm oh. looking for you on the chat. Sir, this is our menu. You know what you want? Come back for him. Alright, this is what they got on the menu. Quesadillas look good. Might get a Caesar salad too. Alright, I know all this look good. Why not just go get some coffee?
but this is where the arcade is. Oh, it's like that guy. Oh. You got all the different type of stuff. You know, things for win. There's some watches. Whatever those are. Y'all know what this is. Put it in the comment section. I've seen, I feel like I've seen it before. What is that? A drone? Nintendo Switch? PS5? They got some good stuff in here. Apple Prize? What was that? A Oh, it's an iPad mini. Y'all, we're actually Team Samsung, Team Android. So don't, don't, all you Apple haters, just don't, don't, don't hate on me for not knowing what it was. Like, we don't fool with Apple like that. We not bougie. Maybe this one. But she's not that bougie for Apple. The race car. I might have to come get on this one. This one looks pretty good. All the stuff you can win. Those are like one of those virtual reality games. Yeah. I might have to go on this one too. I'm all about the racing games. You know me. I, I, I will anybody any racing game. Let me know. Come find me. I will beat you. Not me. Especially this one. She can't even drive, y'all. Talking about not her. She can't even drive. She got tickets and all that. I ain't never got a ticket in my life. But she but she can drive. Okay. Oh yeah, anybody can y'all can get served up in this too. What is this? Oh, it's like a beanbag toss. That's pretty cool. Yeah, we might have to come back to this. Hey, it's cheaper than a casino. <laughs> Y'all, look at this. Ooh, wee. This is why you get up early enough for the sea day brunch. Because these people are waiting. Like, well, there's a bunch of people. So, when we went, it was about, like I said, about 8.45, almost 9 o'clock. If you, want to, if you want to see their brunch, don't sleep in. Get there early enough. That way you can get there comfortably. There was no line when we went. I mean, everything kind of seemed seamless. And as soon as we came out, it was it was mayhem. So get up. Oh, so y'all just go stand us up for breakfast like that? Our room's kind of dirty. I don't care. No, no, no. Y'all just go stand us up for breakfast like that? Ain't say nothing? What you mean say We've been up since 5.30 too. Man, y'all ain't said nothing. Man, I thought y'all were real one, dog. Y'all the one, you the one working. Me and DeMonica have established, we understand. We're early birds, we're gonna get up. Well, she she only an early bird now because she got a kid. Well, see, we're early birds regardless. We done been up, went to breakfast, everything. Coffee. I was like, I need coffee. Yeah, I had coffee. I was I had coffee. I had the whole cafeteria to myself. Not the melanin and C shirt. That's right. Come on, man. You know you gotta one. represent. Hey, let them see you it one more time. One? I started to get one. Get it? Cuz what you doing? Lining yourself up now? Yeah, man. You know, that's, that's, the, that's that two day, bro. You gotta get that two day. Two day, boy. Your, hair, your facial hair don't grow like that. It took yeah. you 30 years to get that. Oh, <laughs> first, of all, first of all, I done cut it off and let it grow back, man. Okay. Everybody can't grow period like me, man. <laughs> Let me see you, boy. Let me see you, your boy. Look, look, from head to toe. Shirt from Sheen, pants from Sheen, shoes from Walmart. <laughs> All right, we got we got Miss Tamika here. What you got? Um, just my little target number. Oh, a little target. A little, not too much, not too much for the people, not too much. <laughs> so we're gonna ask you a few questions. A few questions are gonna be asked to the kids. And a few questions are going to be asked to the parents, but both of you have to write the answer down. And hopefully it's the same answer, finger crossed, but you can't communicate with each other, okay? Here we go. The first question to the kids goes like this. Where's the best place your parents took you on a vacation? Write it down. Don't communicate. Just write it down. Parents, you do the same thing. All right, number two, which parent snores the loudest? Write it down, don't be embarrassed, it's okay, you're, you're in a safe place. 
You're in a seat. <laughs> We're gonna move on to the parent question. The first question for the parent goes like this. If you had to meet one famous person, who would it be? And kids, they might talk about them all the time. Like me, I talk about Idris Elba all the time. I wish I was married to that guy, you know. Number two, parent. What is your weirdest habit, parent? What is your weirdest habit? baked beans, mac and cheese, pulled pork, and I guess that's a brisket. What you get, the chicken beans and slaw? And sausage. On oh, andouille sausage. I sure got two I got the blue bean chicken and brisket. Yeah, the brisket, what side you, what's that? Uh, potato, potato salad, salad and, beans. and beans. Thick potatoes. Tamika, what you get? Pork, beef, greens, mac and cheese, and some bread. I didn't get hot sauce. <laughs> <laughs> we gonna see how this is, cause be you know, being from Texas, well, they're from Louisiana. Being from Texas, you know, we take our barbecue serious. So we are gonna let y'all know how it is in a little bit. All right, people are lined up, and this is just one line. They're running a the line on both sides. So get here early. They opened at 12. We thought it was a 11. They told us 11, but uh, they actually opened at 12. So 12 to three, it should be free. So I would say get here like 11:15, honestly. So. Guys, pig and anchor. <laughs> Y'all. It looked real good on, on some of the videos that we saw. But for some reason, I don't know if it's just because it's on this ship, this sailing. I, I don't know what it was. It was bland. Like It was probably because we were one of the first people in line, so the season hadn't set in yet. That's what we go Or they had all night to set the season <laughs> in. No. The season hadn't set in. We, maybe if you go towards the end of when it's about to be done, the season will be done set in. We were not impressed. The The mac and cheese was runny. You know, none of the meat had seasoned. It was tender. I will give them that. It was tender because um, the pits that they cook it on, it, it's connected to a water pump that, you know, to kind of put moisture into the meat. The sausage wasn't bad. Well, I didn't get the sausage, but I had the, the pork and the brisket. That was terrible. The beans 
it was like a mixed variety of beans. It wasn't even like, you know how we hooked the, the baked beans baked up beans. with the brown sugar and the ground beef and all. Nah, none of that. They had meat in it. It was like brisket bits, but that wasn't even seasoned. They had meat in it. So I put a little barbecue sauce in my beans. Well, actually, I dipped my beans in a barbecue sauce. But it made it taste a little bit better. A little bit, but it wasn't, it wasn't, even, bro. The potato salad had like whole wedges. Like, who does that? Some people like their potato salad. No, like they're probably the same people that like they like raisins in their potato salad. Hey, don't like the raisins in a potato salad with the potato wedges. Would you eat it? I don't eat potato salad. And so, <laughs> no. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, we were, we were very dissatisfied with it. We went to Guy's Burger right afterwards. That's, that's the only guys we can depend on on the ship with the guy's burger. Some black eyed peaches. Some black eyed peaches. Is they like cornbread? That's what she said. Like cornbread. <laughs> what is that, the Elderflower. Elderflower. Okay. She needs some black eyed peas and some. Uh... See, she ain't know it's a cupcake. I'm done. You know, it's all about the experience. That's the way to look at it. I know, right? I'm trying to be yeah. all positive. Thank you. I'm I ain't gonna laugh long. <laughs> <laughs> so it's dry. Tastes like cornbread. Are you recording that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's good footage, though. That is A1. What did I literally say earlier? No rehearsals. They don't have me on it looking f crazy. <laughs> what is given? You need some black eyed peas? <laughs> you with this black eyed peas juice. <laughs> How about some. It's like garbage. it's dry, but it's chewy. Right. <laughs> they got a nice flavor. Uh huh. But but it ain't giving what it's supposed to give. It's not bad. You want a piece of cornbread? No, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> I am fine. Thank you. No. <laughs> Full reviews. <laughs>
round of music trivia, and it starts now. The first song goes like this. Uh, what's the name of this song? Stop singing, no singing, only got one prize. Let's get it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't want to myself. I don't want to sing. We're going to uh, what? Jamaica. Oh, Mexico. Back to Texas. All right. Who is that? All right. Oh, you want to leave me? My favorite. But I refuse to let you go. If I have a bag, please. Come on now. Come on now. Look at the queen. Look on, on elegant night. Look at this. Lord have mercy. Go on, hit him. Go on, bless him with a few poses, baby. Bam. 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 <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Hey, let him go and get me real quick. All right. Yeah. All right. Uh, oh, get him. Don't hurt him. Yes. Yes. A Zadian, okay. Oh, not too much. Not too much. Not too much. <laughs> yes. Yes. All right. <laughs> <laughs> we go. <gone. laughs> Baby. See, we're not so elegant anymore. Um, uh, we just when we left dinner, we decided, you know, we just want to chill tonight. We kind of just got comfortable. We want to see a movie, things called Flick or something like that. Um, I've never seen it before, so hopefully it's pretty good. But, but yeah, it's just one of those nights we just feel like chilling, you know, just hanging out with each other and uh, see what the rest of the night's hold for. <laughs>
It's a packed house at the punchline of comedy tonight. You know, just drop them in the kids' club. Just bring them at the next, at the end of the whole cruise. <laughs> Go for it. All right. So one thing, um, some people get really like upset because they're asking for their ID in the entrance. You know, if you look younger than 18, it's fine. It's, it's, it's take it as a compliment. Exactly, as a compliment. If you haven't been asked for that, it's, it's life. Life has been. <laughs> Treating you differently. <laughs> and it's fine as well. Right. And uh, well, of course, uh, one more thing I want to ask you. Okay, I'm gonna say four letters. Okay, if you're not 18 and older, G T F O. Everybody, tell me together. What does that mean? Yeah. I didn't say it. It was you. Right. And well, we're about to start right now. I'm gonna introduce you to someone who's been in a showtime everybody oh. comedy central oh and he's been a writer for the steve harvey show everybody wow all right ladies and gentlemen put your hands together for les montanto We're gonna get ready to get a little bit to eat and then we get off the boat. So today we got a catamaran party boat planned. Then they're gonna drop us off at the beach where it's all inclusive, all you can eat, all you can drink. I'm ready to have a good time. So we'll see you off the ship.
$79. So as soon as you get off the boat, you can find all your carnival excursions. And we are headed to number 10. Right there. <laughs> My bad. We're going to 15. Good morning. Good morning. Okay guys, we're leaving. Alright. Okay. Perfecto. Follow. My friend. Thanks, sir. Follow my friend Leo. You follow me, sir. Leo, we start here inside the restaurant. We want to call you by the blue wristband. Blue. Blue wristband. Okay. All right. Thank you, sir. So I guess we'll chill out here. Oh, the blue wristbands. So they got us lined up two by two like we know it's Ark or something. But uh, quick turnaround, I guess we got here right on time. If we were like 30 seconds later, we would have missed it. Um, I guess we headed to the catamaran. All right, this looks like our catamaran right here. At least I hope it is, because it's the last boat on the, on the pier. Unless they just all gonna kick us off the pier. <laughs> When you step on the boat, watch your toes, watch your feet, watch your head. We're gonna need everybody right here on the main deck. First deck, everybody. We're gonna share some information before we go. Todos abajo, first deck. Big Mexican family today. First deck, everybody. Eh? Don't go upstairs yet. Good morning, buenos dias, Carnival Breeze. Thank you. Come on. We're going to be with you on the boat. We're going to be with you on the island. And we're coming back together like a one Mexican family. Bienvenidos. 
the rest of our, our family don't you worry to do your Spanish. When we get to the island, bring the kilo for everybody. On the way back, we're gonna speak Chinese, Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> Gracias, thank you, and few moments later Ago, did she want to come up here? It was said, a lot of work. She said no. It was a lot of work now getting look, up here. Now she thought, oh, it's great now. It's great. Still a ride. <laughs> but I'm not getting soaked. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I know. <laughs> All right. Well, we got up here a little late. He said we was going to be at the island in about five minutes. So now you know. If you do this excursion now, you know. Come to the top if it's. Get, yeah, if it's chopping. Right. Down to the third attempt. <laughs> Here on the island. Banos, toilet, bathroom, number one, number five, anytime. That's the only banos for everybody. Pass in the shopping area, the tequila store. Damn. Back there, we have the big tiki place we call restaurant. Ready the whole time. We have two open bars. Mm -hmm. One next to the buffet, second one for the ocean view. Mm -hmm. Facilities mm -hmm. is from the massage area, back there. You're gonna see tiki table, chairs, facilities for you. Don't worry for personal belongings, it's safe everywhere. Mm -hmm. We're gonna be the ones walking around to clean your table, pick up your place, everything, all right? Mm -hmm. You guys need questions, let us know around, okay? So we're gonna meet everybody here at this time, 2.15. We call you 10, 15 minutes to, to get ready, okay? Gracias, thank you, vámonos. No more. Well, if you need the restroom, this is where you need to bring your ass. <laughs> it's obligatory to wear your face mask, but 
I don't think it's really being a force like this, but you know us. We're gonna make sure we got ours on. Yes, can I get four? Fish and chicken. What is that? Fish and chicken. Uh, chicken, please. Black beans, huh? Yes. Oh, it's party time. Thank you. So it looks like they got macaroni salad, cucumber salad, and I guess that's a potato salad. Fruit, pico, guac. Hey, what's going on, buddy? Can I get a uh, pico and guac? Yes. On a taco? Yes. No ketchup? Spicy habanero. Okay. Good chips. Uh, no, that's fine. Thank you, my friend. Hey, Spreezies. It's your girl, D. Um, so, I recorded some footage on my phone, right? Just trying to do my due diligence so you know Phil wouldn't have to do everything himself. I go to check it so that I can send it to him because he's the one that does the editing, right? And I think I lost it. I think it's all gone. And that was devastating. So I wanted to give y'all some good stuff in addition to Phil's good stuff. But I don't know if it's gonna make the vlog, but I got y'all. I'm sorry. I really am sorry. Um, I don't know. I don't know what happened. I'm going to try to recover it. If I can't recover it, this is my apology to you for losing some good footage, especially of Phil chasing that raccoon because that was hilarious. Um, but, yeah, I just wanted to come and talk to you about that and let you know that it may be gone. It may be gone. Anyways. Bye, Spreezies. I know y'all like that. I know y'all do. Bye, y'all. <laughs> Look at this. This got wild raccoons chasing coconuts. Where'd he go? There he is. Hey, buddy. <laughs> a little bit sun's back out enjoy me a little stogie life is good baby look at this here this is peace Relaxation. Cruising is all about.
spot, baby. Right here. Yo, I done, I done messed up. Uh, can't find my sense cell card. I had a, uh, my passport card with it. I honestly don't know if they'll let me back on the ship. I, I don't know. Uh, luckily I brought passport book and I still got my Texas ID still on the ship. Hopefully, I don't know what the process do. I know, I know they got facial recognition and I don't know. Like I said, I got another passport on the, on the ship. My, my ID, all that's on the ship. I don't know. I don't know how to feel right now. It's just scary, nervous, anxious. I'm on, I mean, I'm on a carnival excursion. Hopefully, that can help me out too. I looked and searched everywhere we've been in the water. I think I lost it in the water taking pictures. This is not a good feeling right now. Um. It's time to go. It's time to leave the the beach to head back to the port. It's just, it's it's not a good feeling right now. So we'll see what happens. Hopefully they let me on. They don't get stuck in Cozumel, but we'll see what happens. Thank you very much to be on time. On the Amony Company, Passion Island, we like to say gracias. Thank you very much for each family, for each passenger to make possible this excursion. Do you have a good time today, yes or no? Yeah! yeah. Are you going to recommend Passion Island? Yeah. Woo! Recommend claro, claro. What do you think about your tour guide today? How about Danny? Woo! How about Rio? How about Rio? If you think we did a good job with you, yeah. you want to put your reviews, our name on your comments. Do it only on the good ones. If you don't have any complaints, just forget our name. Your boy is back. Whoo, Lord have mercy. This whole experience has just been, just been all over the place. By the grace of God, I'm, I'm back on the ship. I, for some reason, I had my set sail card and my passport card in my pocket on the lanyard. So I went out in the water, you know, try to get some pictures, try to get some videos. And my stuff just floated away, like gone. And so then it's like 30 minutes left. So I start panicking. So I start looking for my, my lanyard in the water. I can't see cause it's the water's kind of green and it's not totally, you know, clear. There was a little boy that had goggles. He was, you know, swimming underwater trying to find stuff. And I had people that was on the, on the island or the beach that was you know, trying to help me out. but. When the time came to, to head back on the catamaran or the boat, you know, my, my mind's going, my mind's going, it's like, man, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get back on the ship. Like, am I gonna get stuck in Mexico? Like, 
you know, you just got all these thoughts going on. So I tried to, you know, pump myself up. I was like, okay, well, that was my passport card. Thank God I didn't have, you know, my state ID. I didn't have any credit cards. I didn't have any cash. By the grace of God, somehow I forgot those things on the ship, you know. So, so I was like, well, maybe, you know, I can get D on the ship and then she can come on board because I got my passport book on the ship along with my state issued ID. So I was like, well, maybe if I got to prove my citizenship, this, you know, that prove that I'm actually a passenger aboard the Carnival Breeze, maybe she can run up, come get that, you know, prove the Carnival that, you know, that, you know, I am on the ship, I am a U.S. resident, stuff like that. So once we finally got back to the port and got to security, you know, you know they're checking for everybody's set sail pass. You can't get through security if you don't have your set sail pass. So they asked me for mine. I was just honest with them. I said, hey, I lost it. I was out swimming and somewhere in the water, like, I don't know where it is. So we walk over to the side. They, the security pulls me over to the side. And so they asked me to write down my name, my room number, and what ship I was on. Because we were in port with the, uh, with the Carnival Ecstasy. So she radios into the ship hey i got phil you know he's in room you know 2375 on the carnival breeze you know can you verify that he's a passenger on your ship they radio back said yeah let him through so luckily they let me through without any identification without passport us id nothing they let me through and so i'm like okay well that's stage one thank god you know, I still got to get on the boat. What is that going to be like? Um, so we get to the uh, we get to the boat. You know, we go up the ramp to board the ship, and you know, he's asking, "Okay, where's your set sail pass?" And so I tell him again, "Hey, man, I lost it. I don't know where it is." So luckily, D went in front of me, so they scanned her set sail pass. You know, when they when they scan that, you can see who's all in your stateroom. So my picture came up, but so they said, you know continue on through security but as soon as you know as soon as you you're cleared go up to guest service to get your set sail a new set sail pass so i went up there took care of that and um your boy is back in business so huge stress relief but you talk about a buzz kill uh after i got on the ship like i said my appetite was just it came back as soon as you know the relief came so i got me a couple guys burgers uh because i was hungry man I was hungry, so Glad to be back on the ship. Glad to still, well, glad not to be stuck in Cozumel, but, whoo, huge monkey off my back.
Hey, Stripe Shorts. Stripe Shorts. Why you ain't get up there and sing that karaoke? How y'all talked about old girl? Y'all about talk about me like that. Who talked about old girl? Mm -hmm. We was cheering on. What you talking about? Mm -hmm. Y'all went about to. I'm about to embarrass myself. But you can sing though. She can too. You sing like an angel, like a white dove on a Sunday morning. I would have cheered you on, man. Appreciate you. You probably would have been the only one. I gotta go home with you. I ain't gonna talk about you. Great. That's in my face. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, it is dinner time. What it do? <laughs> Jerome. What's wrong with it, Lope? Uh, the ribs? Uh, I just think that was my cap. Where your food at? I sent mine back, too. Why you send it back? Man, them ribs must have came from the guy's pig and egg. Great. Um, tell them what you said to taste like. What I say it tastes like? Booty. Oh. It's like, oh, it's so loud. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna go to Bob's house. They not good, man. We had guys burger clothes. What are we gonna do? Go buffet? To buffet? <laughs> you can't bring them to the cookout, cuz? No. Nah. Be honest. This is what. Yeah, it's like crock pot, oven ribs, like yeah, they they slow cook, but it's not it's not even tender. But they want to open the first one. The first one I had was so. I'm just taking the parlay cake, and you you messed me up. You tearing yours up? You the only happy one over here. What is that? The, the yeah, shrimp creole. I mean, you could live with adding a little salt and pepper, but. And then I'm gonna be done. You got the okay flavor. Thank you. At least yours is good. Okay. Yeah! Aha! <laughs>
which one of these is going to be your case. Help them out. What do you guys think? What do you think? What the heck? Supporting us and subscribe to us. Uh, we talked about spreezies or something. I don't know. Um, Spreezy. Would y'all want to be called spreezies? Yeah, like it. I don't know. Let us down, let us know down in the comments. Um, anyway, it is hot white night, and we're getting ready to head up to the Lido, and we're gonna do a little bit of partying if the vibe is right. Just a little bit. We tired. <laughs> we didn't even go a lot to y'all. Look at her eyes. They can barely even stay open. But, hey, if the vibe is right, we're going to have a good time. If it's not, we're going to let y'all know. We're going to be back to close out the vlog. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which might be in five minutes. But, uh, anywho, we're going to check it out. And uh, y'all going to come along with us for the ride. Yeah, 
that too. Um, first and foremost, happy Father's Day. Well, happy belated Father's Day because y'all won't see this on um, today anyway. But today is Father's today Day. Today is Father's Day. Also, Juneteenth. today is happy Juneteenth. Happy Juneteenth to my people out there. You know, if you know, you know. Um, we're actually getting ready to go have brunch with Tamika and Carlos since they want to join us this time. Uh, but if you've been following along, you know. Um, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Thank you for the support. But I would say go back and, and see what happened at the last C Day brunch. But um, uh, so they're actually already there right now. So um, we've got, they got a table waiting for us. Um, they've already checked in and everything for us. Um, and so we're gonna get something in our stomachs and then we'll see what's gonna wake us up a little bit. Yeah, I mean, need some, definitely need some coffee. So definitely see what the day has in store for us. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Alright, what's up, y'all? Uh, brunch was good. Brunch was real good. Definitely recommend the French toast. I had some of these earlier. Um, right now I'm by myself. D actually went up early. Cause they're gonna do a um, a friends trivia, so she went up to grab some tables, a table early, so that we can have somewhere to sit. Cause those trivia things they get, they fill up real fast. So, going to do friends trivia. Well, really, I'm just going for D. She's the friends fan. I don't really care too much for friends. I I just I honestly tried it, couldn't get into it. Um, what do y'all think? Do y'all like friends or yes, no? Could you get into it or or am I just tripping? Y'all let me know. Y'all let me know in the comment section what y'all think. But I honestly tried it. It's not for me. How you doing? Don't look at it. I knew the first three. Okay, you knew the first three. What you on? Question five. Yeah. I guess on four. Uh uh. Don't. Six question number twenty. What is Rachel's ex fiance Barry's profession? You know that one? What is Rachel's ex fiance Barry's profession? How we doing, champ? We're not doing. We're not doing. <laughs> one more right not you folding the paper. How many we get? I got one, <laughs> two, three, four, okay. uh, 11 or more. Six, seven, eight, 13 nine, or more. 10, 11. 15 or more. 11. All right, so me and Carlos on our way to the art gallery. Not that we buying any art though, but we did do like a some kind of drawing yesterday where we had to guess the weight of some kind of sculpture. They told us to guess between zero and like 55 pounds or something like that. But anyway, after we did that, this is what they gave us. So it's supposed to be complimentary champagne. It's on here too. Yeah. And they gave us this letter too. So really, I mean the champagne is really the, the only reason we're going. You know, they got artwork in there that's worth more than our whole life. <laughs> How you doing? Hi. I didn't bring the letter, but I brought my ticket. Yeah, this is fine. Okay. We need these for four raffle tickets. I'm in room. What's, what's your county number? Two three seven five. Two three seven five. <laughs> Number one to five, this is gonna be your last ticket and being number for today, Saturday. All right, thank you, sir. You're welcome. All right, here we go. Wish us some luck. <laughs>
me. I'm always curious to see who's in the crowd. Where my previous auction goes? Raise your hands. Welcome back, welcome back. Where my first timers? Raise your hands. First timers. Awesome. What I'm going to do is a quick introduction so that we're all on the same page and then we'll get going with the show. We got it all, but we're going to have a bit of fun here today. We're going to have bidding starting at $20, going right up over $100,000. With a little bit of landscapes, unique one of a kinds, animations, you name it. It's going to be flying across the stage here today. Uh, 105, 105 in the room. Congratulations, well played. 105 is the lucky winner. Let's give her a nice round of applause. So that was interesting. Uh, that was my first ever art auction. Have you ever been to an art auction before? I have not. Nah, man, so it was, it was real cool when you walk in there. Uh, if you want to see a piece of art, you know, uh, to go for auction, you just put your uh, sticky number on there and then they would bring up to the auction and then, you know, they'll let you bid on it. Um, it was like a legit, they had a legit auctioneer. Uh, he was like, <laughs> he had, he's been doing it a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's very professional, it's very classy. Um, I feel like I should have been dressed better than I am for the event, but it was cool. They didn't let you leave empty handed. So uh, just for some of y'all that never been to the art auction on the ship, you know, they let you walk away with a free piece of art. I'll show it to you in a bit. I'm just trying not to trip and fall down these stairs, but yeah, it was definitely an experience. So. I would say that's something to check out. All right, what's up, buddy? Can I get the uh, buffalo chicken and the Southwest chicken wrap? Thank you, man. Oh, that looks good. They put it in this paper so you won't see how big it is. It's cold. I wasn't impressed with it. Yeah, it's not. But it is to be a grill. The Southwest chicken, yeah. It ain't grilled. It's better with the sriracha. Now the buffalo chicken, this, uh, this ain't really buffalo chick uh, sauce. It's a little loose. A little runny, but it's all right. Where's their mama at? That's, oh, just like what? I feared. He pouring out his heart to the big sis. She laughing at him. <laughs> okay, no, I'm laughing at this. I'm not laughing at this. They're so emotional. They're crying. I'm just looking like... <laughs> <laughs> that, that's it? <laughs> Coco Melon, huh? Mm-hmm. That's what's with you, Matt. You can't watch Coco Melon. Oh boy. That's what I said. What number is this? 
Y'all in here extra friendly. And I need another shot. Damn, that one was good. When I came back, what he talking about? The woo got you, huh? And I was like, dang, how you know? Damn, Pete Felipe. He know. <laughs> so they had Forrest Gump, Frozen, Deadpool. Batman. Yeah. I can't believe I missed that one. Y'all should have called us. And it, how are we going to call you? Or text us. We got the app. We was in a zone. Y'all was smoking. Yeah, y'all in the y'all in the zone, y'all right. It's hard trying to focus on when you need to drink. Then they had Prince and the Frog. You know what oh, I mean? Yeah, that there's a town. What? We're down. I'd have killed that too. That's the beginning of the movie. Yeah, where well, the women are very pretty. Mm -hmm. And then to break the ties, first it was like two people who got 22. It was like, how y'all get 22? Right. We would have had 22. Y'all to text us on the app. Bro, y'all. Well, see why y'all hating, dog. Y'all was not gonna come, so that's why we said. We would. We were just up there talking. And Godfather. Mm, yeah. Mm. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
slipped. You gonna take one with me? What you think I've been sipping down there? I get that. But it's only a little bit. Okay, we'll she don't want to do it by herself. I know. <laughs> we was struggling already earlier. See, I mean, we took like three gulps of one shot. Yeah, y'all blood pressure already. It was like a mini it was a, It was a juice. I mean a juice. It was a drink. Damn, y'all had a believe it. I'll be out of here. Well, let me see yours. I need to measure. That's about the same. Is it? Okay. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, you got it. The mark could be lying to me. <laughs> Oh, she lied. Look, 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 look. I'm telling you, I know. Demont, uh, -uh I got no, 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 I guess that's what it is. We're not quite on even level. Put it back in the bottle. Damn. No, 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 no. Sit back. Just sit up a little bit. Hurry, I gotta open it. It's open. Okay, that's enough. Okay, go ahead. We're about to do this. Sweet. Sweet. I like it. It's sweet. It don't take this long to take a shot. My stomach hurt. One. I got some for that too. Oh my goodness. One. Two. Okay, so here we have to basically write our order down ourselves and then give it to the waitress when she comes. I'm only getting a side salad, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, uh oh, where's it? Okay, mark this side salad here. <laughs> and that's about it. Oh, uh, it's like that? You can't do nothing over there yesterday. Got some edamame. Sure. I don't know what kind. I don't know what's sprinkled on them. Look like salt and Lucas. I don't know if it's Lucas Ooh. or not. Not Lucas. It's giving Lucas vibes. No? Why oh, so hair? I was looking at that too. Look at the hair. <laughs> Y'all see them hairs? Mm, Maybe good. edamame has hairs. I don't know. I don't I really eat it. any with it. Oh, okay. Well, maybe not. Okay, we're gonna taste it. Did you taste it with the Lucas? It's a Lucas. It's got a little bit on there. Mine has Lucas. Mm. It's hot. It is Lucas too. Okay, first of all, I don't eat out of my man. I don't either. This is nasty. <laughs> My salad, ensalada. Oh, this is Chinese. I mean, what is sushi? I'm done. Is it Japanese? I don't know. It ain't it's Mexican, so. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. My salad. All right, we got my side salad, because I don't eat sushi. Of course, y'all saw the edamame. We got a California roll, a tempura roll. We got Tamika. Who's gonna taste it? I got my sushi. You not gonna embarrass me trying to use some chopsticks. Ain't about to you use some chopsticks. I don't know which one this is. That is the California roll. Oh, it is. I ain't gonna go to crap. So y'all not gonna talk about me the way I eat sushi. I cannot put all of this. Oh, I'm gonna have to. <laughs> Do we have any cutlery? <laughs> How is it? It's good? <laughs> no, I'm about to start dancing. I'm assuming it's good. This is really good. Okay, what it tastes like? What it's giving? 
It's giving luxury. Okay, luxury. The crab is really good. Okay, and they use real crab, she said. Right. I got it without the fish egg. I was gonna knock that off. And I don't even eat avocado, but this is really, really good. Okay, we got the tempura roll. We're gonna dip it in the soy sauce first. Yeah. Oh, there's a lot of avocado. Don't even look at it. Mm. Just, just taste it. Mm. It's good, huh? It's good? What's in it? What is this? Fried something. Mine is well. <laughs> it tastes like a funyun. You know, we get like a burnt funyun. Mm -hmm. That's what Taffin tastes like. I mean, my funyuns have never been burnt, but you know, I get what you're saying. This is my first time ever eating sushi. Thank you. Is it? Is it? Uh huh. It's good, ain't it? It's not bad. Split it. No, 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 no. <laughs> I got a salad. But that's good. It is. And I don't eat avocado either. Just found out she got to pay for the sushi. <laughs> Why isn't that included? Like, <laughs> you ain't got to worry about me. Oh, you funny. Woo. After that, we're done. <laughs> Are they in there? Or they in Separate rooms. Um, hello. Great. They're both in there. Oh, they are? Yeah. Hi, guys. It's strong as hell in here. You it. did change. Look, this is a shirt that his son got him for Father's Day. Mm -hmm. World's greatest dad, mm -hmm. Phi Beta Sigma. Okay. Hey. <laughs> People y'all be, oh, y'all stink. Oh, y'all smoking a cigar. Oh, that's why it smells uh, like a gallon uh -huh. of. Cologne. Yeah, taste it. You eat sushi, Carlos? You gonna taste it? Taste it. Yeah. Monica starts with the tip. <laughs> <laughs> just, just. I'm not gonna comment on that. Just, uh, you ain't biting. You gotta put it all in your put mouth. Put it in your mouth. Put it all in. Hell, no, it's nasty. Put it all in. That's because you biting it. You, you got to eat it all, it all at once. You wasting my sushi. Put it in your mouth. Just don't spit it out. Sushi. You want some sushi? No. Maybe I should get you the fries. I'm good. Try it. Nah, I'm alright. Phil won't try it. Y'all tell him to try it. Spreezies. You want the one I've tried it before. It? Which kind? We got California and support. It was all nasty. Look, mm -hmm. Monica, he about to throw up good. Mm -hmm. You can't swallow it? No, it's skin on it. It's seaweed. That's nasty. <laughs> you don't even taste it. Yeah. I promise. Well, flush it, because I got a potty. Thank you. I got to get him out of here. Don't start that sh**. Is that serious? Or you no, know? he's not serious at all. Can't be. <laughs> I hope God that was a joke. That was a lot. <laughs> <laughs> that was a lot. <laughs> that was a lot. That was a lot. That was a lot. Like, I didn't even know this girl did Sudoku. Like, who are you? Who did I marry? I've never seen her do Sudoku in my life. We've been married four years now. Look 
what carnival playing on June 10th? All right. If you know, you know. Amen. So tonight we have a bunch of songs here prepared for you guys so we can sing and have an amazing moment together. So if you know the words, please sing it. If it's one of your favorite songs, just stand up and dance because you know we're here to have fun, right? No vacation, right? So let's have a good time, everybody. Are you ready? Everybody got fried chicken. It look good though. But the way this crew's been going, it might need some salt. And pepper. And some tonings. So here we go. Already, she didn't even taste it yet. I don't need to. <laughs> and I got enchiladas. Y'all finna sneeze. I'm sorry. See, you know. And it's a new fresh one. I've been getting it. Uh uh. I you have to get us up out of here, ain't you? <laughs> Silas is the <laughs> best answer. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh, your bags are red. Nah, Dex, you ain't even want to talk to us, Dex. He was walking off. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Really? I'm a captain before I got demoted. Oh, man. Oh, man. Hey, I mean, living Oh, Dex, we can't promote you. You the one set the Carnival Freedom well tail on fire. Next time, we're going to go nowhere. We're going to be off the plane, you know. Oh, oh, oh. You guys are woo. Well, let us let us know what airline so we know not to fly it. Is it <laughs> <laughs> not gonna come. <laughs> All right, Dex. Right, appreciate it, man. Thank you. You too. Well, dinner is over. Went back to the room to pack, and I think I like how my little experiment went. You know, to unpack when you first get there, they put everything in the drawers. And then as you wear stuff, just go ahead and put it in the suitcase. I only had like a couple shirts and shorts and stuff that I didn't wear that I had to throw in the bag, but pretty much everything else was there. Um, but yeah, it was it worked out quite fine. But right now we're actually on our way to 
the adult comedy night show. Uh, hopefully this guy, I think his name's Carl, Carl something. Strong. Carl Strong, I think, hope he's better than the last comedian we saw the other day. Not too many people found him funny. His name is Lance, Lance something, I don't know. But I did hear good reviews about Carl, so we'll see what that's about. Of course, uh, we can't film or anything like that, but if we can get some pictures, uh, we'll definitely, you know, let you see what it looks like on in the uh, in the Punchline or Comedy Club. <laughs> What's up guys? Uh, oh, before we get started, I got a disclaimer that I want y'all to know. Look, these same clothes you see right here is gonna be on tomorrow during debarkation. Uh, look, we came in here, we got the jacuzzi, we showered and everything, we clean. But as soon as we getting done shooting this, they coming right back off and I'm coming back on tomorrow morning. So don't be all in the comments. Talking about, and he got the same clothes on for yes, and I'm clean. <laughs> uh, I packed up everything. I didn't even think about pajamas. I packed up everything because it was we was kind of pushing it. So everything left. But these are the only clothes I got left. That's clean, and you gonna see me in them tomorrow. Now moving forward. <laughs> oh, um, the comedian we saw tonight. He was a hundred times better. Carl, Carl Strong was his name. Oh man, he he had the first guy. he had us rolling the entire time. It was only like a, a thirty minute show. Um, Carl he talked about everybody. You know, everybody was laughing. Nobody got offended like the other guy, Lance. I can't remember his last name for some reason, Lance. But um, um, from start to show, he came out there dancing. He came out messing with people in the audience. It was he interacted well. Yeah. Yeah. He got us engaged, and he told us some funny stuff. Mm -hmm. And um, afterwards, you know, we just kind of winded down in the jacuzzi. Uh, there were a couple other cu couples in there, um, so you didn't get a video of that, but we took some nice pictures. Disclaimer, you know. that jacuzzi felt nasty <laughs> because it was lukewarm water, it was not hot, and it was just like I was just sitting in a bathtub that had just... Been, the water had been in there for a while. But I, I tried to tell her that the jacuzzi is inclusive for both women and men. You know, women, y'all like to have scalding hot water all the time. That's how she takes her like showers. Like I can't hop out in the shower right after her because I'm going to have third to... degree burns. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, it was just, uh, uh, I was sitting there like this the whole time because I couldn't even enjoy myself. It just felt icky. It was but fine. Some things were really great. Yeah, I mean, every, like I said, everything else was not so great. Yeah, I think everything else was pretty good. What else wasn't great? And Carl great? Strong touched on that in yeah. his comedy oh, session. Oh, he let them have. I don't know. He gonna still have a contract. <laughs> the way he went in on Carnival tonight. <laughs> I don't yeah. know if he's still gonna have a contract he, he after this. Yeah. Brother did not It'd hold back. Brother did not hold back. But from the chicken to the cake, he just went in. From yeah, from the entree to dessert, everything like it was. He hit the yeah. he hit the nail on the head with that. One. All the black people in that audience. Well, yeah, was rolling when when Carl Strong talking about the ribs. Is, that's why it was so like the fried chicken. We do fried chicken. And we expect it to be good fried chicken, right? But if you don't do fried chicken, then it might have been great. So the things that we are used to eating, that we're like, oh, it's going to be good. That's what disappointed us the most. I think our expectations were too high. But we're going to wrap up day four. And uh, we're going to call it a night. So, um... Thank you guys for watching. Really, really appreciate it. On your way out, please don't forget to hit that like button. You know, subscribe, hit that notification bell so that you can get 
notified whenever we put up new videos. Like I said, we got a lot more stuff coming for you this summer. And you're going to have to stay tuned. So Follow us on Instagram. Oh, yeah. Instagram. Phil and D Travels. travels. <laughs> We got it. We got it. <laughs> <laughs>